Next up, we're gonna make this adorable nightlight. And you only need a few household items to make it happen. You're going to wanna to get together some tissue paper, some colored cardstock, and really you just need some scraps for that, some battery operated votive lights, some embroidery floss, some plastic lacing and beads, and then some things like a hole punch or small punches, scissors, um, some lace. Don't forget you're gonna need some glue and some neon glitter to make it fun. So we're gonna start off by covering our little jar with ripped up tissue paper. And you can also use recycled tissue if you've got it from an old birthday party or something. But we're just gonna rip up the paper into small chunks. And then we're gonna add a little bit of clear glue onto our jar like this. We're gonna tap into the tissue paper and then tap it right onto the glue and then add a little bit more glue on top. It has this really cool translucent look and as you go over it, it'll actually make it more opaque. So you can vary the colors of your tissue as well so that you get some nice color variations like waves in the sea. So go ahead and cover the entire thing and when it's all dry, you'll have something that kind of looks like this. Now we're gonna add these colorful little fishies. And the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna make our own out of construction paper. So I'm using a hole punch and punching out a little fishy. Then I'm going back over that same hole just a little bit to kind of make a moon shape. I'm gonna do that a couple of times because then I can use my scissors, make a little snip, for a mouth, cut one of them in half for a fin, and I can even use a little teeny weeny hole punch to make an eye. And if you don't have a small hole punch, then just feel free to use a marker. But what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of glue, put it on my jar, lay down the fish tail. I think he'll go down here, and then the body, and then lastly, I'll add a top fin and a bottom fin, like this. And you can kind of slide those fins underneath the body, like that. And then add a little bit more glue and let them dry. And you can even use different colors to make multicolor fish. So go ahead, let that dry, and while that's happening, we're gonna make some coral. Now, we say that coral are the flowers of the sea. And I'm gonna wanna cover my work surface for this. I'm gonna take a little bit of embroidery floss, put it in a plastic baggie, and then I'm gonna dump in some white glue. Now this is kinda messy, but it's really fun. I'm gonna close up my plastic bag and just kind of mush it and smudge it around so that the glue gets all over that floss, like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and actually I like to rip open the bag so I don't have to get my fingers super gluey. And I'm gonna use just a toothpick to pull that out like so. Now I'm going to layer that on there and kind of shape it so that it looks like coral. And coral kind of has a little fan shape but you know, it waves around in the sea so you can make it look kind of the way you like. And then let it completely dry. You'll wanna repeat this process and make some kelp with green too. And then to give it a little extra, you know, under the sea sparkle, we're going to use some glitter glue and I love the neon glitter glue to also give it a little more dimension and sparkle. So you'll take this, set it aside, and let it dry for a little while. The last step is adding a little bit of beading and lacing at the top. So take a piece of plastic lacing and thread on some beads. Let's see here. I wanna make sure I hold the other end in my hand so that I don't let go and drop them everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and thread on, it really as many beads as you like. Now, if you have glow in the dark beads, that would be kind of fun too. So here we go. And now what I'm gonna do is tie this around. So I'm, all of those little beads are gonna get tied on with an overhand knot. And just to remind you, that's the simple one where one tail goes through the hole and then you pull it tight and then you do it again, like this. 
Okay, now we're gonna make this kind of look like a, a fisherman's net because we're gonna take this loose end, we're gonna spread these beads around a little bit and we're gonna weave them kind of in and then we're gonna skip and kind of go around and skip a few. So think about how fishermen have to weave their nets so that there's empty spaces and whole spaces and go all the way around. And then we're gonna go back around again, this time using some of the beads that we didn't use the first time. So I'm gonna just do one more so that you can see how our finished lacing looks on top. When it's all done, we'll have it like this. You drop in a battery-operated votive and you've got an amazing little nightlight.